Hello and welcome to Challenge the Build. If you are watching this video, then there is a good chance you are in the market for a self-leveling laser and you're in luck because this video has been made possible by the people over at Firecore. Firecore sent me this uh, laser to be able to do a review on it, so I wanna thank them for sending me this. I haven't opened the box. Uh, it's been in my possession for a little while, so we're gonna go ahead and break into it. This is, like I said, their G30 self-leveling laser. This is the 360 degree cross-line laser uh, supplied with a small tripod. Make sure you read and follow the user manual for whatever tool and equipment you are using. So now that the tripod is together, I wanna to give you a, a rough measurement. We got about 40 inches of overall height, so it definitely is on the smaller end of tripods. Uh, however, and again, I think that's where this piece from Firecore will come into play. We'll get into that in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. We got another box. Again, size, super small and compact, nice little carrying case. And let's see what we got. We've got two packs of batteries. We've got a magnetic base. And of course, last but not least, we have the laser level. Uh, this is not a rechargeable battery. So these are double A batteries. You are going to want to make sure that you have extras in the case for when you were using this because depending on how long you use it will obviously depend on how long the runtime of the batteries is. Following positive, negative, positive, negative. Unlock button for the, for the laser is also the on off switch. So, and when it's out of level in the automatic mode, when the pendulum is free, it's going to blink like it is right now. And this sucker is really bright. My building is 28 by 32 right now. And I have a super clear clean line all the way around it obviously kind of broken up where i have all the stuff but now i'm going to bring this back up the bottom mount is a quarter 20. this has a quick release here on the back and now you should get a better idea of the line that it's casting on the garage so on the back of the laser you have the horizontal you can push the button for vertical. I think I might've blinded you there, I'm sorry. But there's the vertical line. So you get a vertical line projected from the front of the laser only. And then hitting it again, we get the cross. And right there, X marks the spot. You can see that there. Very thin line too. Very crisp. I'm uh, very surprised. It's extremely bright in here and I can see it clear as day in all four corners of my garage. So I would classify the Firecore G30 as a great entry level laser. The laser and the tripod can be purchased for well under $100. Also, like I've said before in the video, is the size. It's extremely small, compact. It's not gonna take up a lot of space in, say, a drawer, on a shelf, or in your toolbox. The Firecore brand has an extensive line of laser levels and accessories, such as this tripod back here. This here is a must-have if you are in the construction field, in my opinion. This is a great addition to this laser if you are trying to broaden the range more in the construction field because this tripod has the ability to extend up to 12 feet using the aluminum poles that are supplied with the kit. This one is a little bit more stable with a broader base and having the more sturdy mounting system. This actually gives you the ability to fine tune the laser on the mount right here. This has an extendable pole on the bottom. Tighten that up and it's spring loaded here on the very bottom. So using that, you can then add as many sections as you need to go up to 12 feet. Oops. 
make sure they're tightened first. Once you get to the top, they give you a pad for the very top of the pole system. What you do want to do is make sure that they all are tight. And now what that gives you is great versatility for using your laser. And, and this thing comes in really, really handy when you're doing crown molding. Um, I did crown molding in my daughter's bedroom and I had only wished that I had something like this in order to do it because I struggled using a tape measure and a level and it would have been a lot nicer had I had this thing back when I was working on that. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you with the Firecore G30 laser and that is that in the settings up here on the top you have where the vertical horizontal button is next to it you have the manual and automatic mode but there's also a brightness setting and if you hit the brightness setting one time you will kick it over to the pulse mode now the laser isn't pulsing but what it does is, is it adds a high frequency pulse to the laser which will allow you to use a receiver such like this one here um, out of respect for Firecore, I concealed the identity of this one. This is one that I had for a different laser, but I wanted to show you that this laser will transpond to a receiver, which I think is actually a really good value considering what you're paying for this laser. This will come into play when you're trying to do a lot of grading work um, on the exterior side of things uh, with stone and driveways and dirt and all those kind of things. This has the ability to send the signal up to 147 feet outside. Obviously with the daylight, it is really hard to see the laser beam outside in the daylight. So that's where this uh, receiver comes into play. But I wanted to just show you that it does work with this laser. After you turn it on, you run the laser and you can hear the transponder picking up on the laser beam, which makes it really nice to be able to know where the plane is, uh, whether you can see the line or not. So just a little point that I wanted to make that is a great selling feature for this particular laser. So that is going to wrap up my review on the Firecore G30 laser. Hopefully I was able to answer some of your questions regarding the laser and overall functions and use for it. If you have any more questions regarding this product or any others that you saw in this video, I want you to go ahead and reach out to Firecore storefront on Amazon. They have a lot of uh, other products regarding lasers and accessories uh, that will fit your needs. Uh, all that's left for you to do is buy yourself a laser, get out there, go challenge your build. Thank you for watching. Thanks to Firecore for making this video possible. And I will see you all in an upcoming video and or review.